Congratulations on the film. Thank you very much. Um, IMDb is not the best source for information. <laughs> I, I looked and saw this might be your first like big credit. It is, yeah, my first feature. So tell me about how you're feeling with your first feature under your, under your belt and everything that goes with it. Honestly, I'm, I'm thrilled with it. I, I couldn't have hoped for a better team behind it. Um, Emma uh, and Jack were, were, and Jolie Richardson was an absolute star to share a scene with. They were all so generous and, and helpful with their advice and their support through the process. Law was a, a beautifully concise director and, and really knew how to sort of work with us to, to find what was best uh, for the script. And um, g given the subject matter of quite a lot of this film, Having Eater O'Brien on set was uh, was a real comfort too. Yeah, it was a, a fabulous team, and I, I couldn't have been happier with how it's turned out. Fantastic. So, how, uh, how what was the starting point for you? Did you get the script? Did it come through agents or whatever, all that kind of stuff? Or um, Carmel Cochran, who uh, who cast uh, the production first, got in touch with uh, my agency and, and wondered if I might be available for it, if it would be something I would consider, and I hadn't um, I hadn't known the novel before then, so that was my excuse to pick it up and. Um, have, have a look through and um, I remember I, I, I immediately I got the, the, the audio book and, and sort of consumed it as, as quickly as I could you know and um, it was it was a wonderful excuse to sort of expose myself to the work of D.H. Lawrence because I hadn't done uh, before then um, and I remember I immediately um, I, I felt a real connection to the story to the to the character of, of Clifford I felt there was something I could bring to him which um, later down the line I thought perhaps hadn't been seen and um, but yeah, it was it was Carmel calling me in, and I met with uh, Law first over Zoom um, uh, before before getting together in a room and actually getting to the nitty gritty of it, which was uh, a, a, a strange uh, process. But um, but you know, it was it, it's uh, I, I really enjoyed it. I was surprised at how available Law made herself to the creative process, even in that sort of two dimensional setting. Yeah. You wear a moustache, well, I have to say. It's, uh, it's quite an art to yes. pull off a, a moustache. I've tried it. It looks terrible. Well, I'm glad you, you think I've pulled it off. You Thank have you. the, 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 the Tom Selleck yeah. charisma about you. <laughs> I'll take that. Cheers. <laughs> hey, November's coming up. I might, um, uh, might bring it back. Yeah. In amongst all of this, I mean, Clifford is a, is a, a very complex fellow. He's dealing mm. with a lot of his own kind of demons and obviously coming out with the war and stuff like that. Yes. What, what was the challenges for you playing him? Because there's a lot going on with him that you don't necessarily see and it's kind of unsaid. And There's an awful lot. Yeah, there's a lot of his life with Connie um, before before the war that we don't get to see. So we don't get to see what sort of they they find about each other that they learn to, to fall in love with, you know, what the, the foundation of their relationship is. And I think there's a real sort of shared intellectual um, passion and uh, intellectual sensibility between them, um, which is a real foundation to their relationship. But um, I think what I what I found most interesting about Clifford is to see how he's as much a, a victim of circumstance as any of the rest of them are. You know, he's never expecting to inherit the estate. He's never expecting to to sort of have to live with this disability and 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 wrestle with his dependency on others, which is which is something he never. Uh, you know, he's he's described in the book as as sometimes being a little reserved and and not being quite so socially front foot, but he is an independent man and, and quite a proud man, I think. And the, the difference that he finds himself wrestling with coming back from the war was, um, was, was a, a real difficulty for him to overcome. And he, perhaps he doesn't have the emotional language to deal with that, mm. um, but I'm not sure we can blame him for it entirely. He's something of a victim of the time, I think. Yeah, yes, yes, indeed he is. Um, and uh, obviously you get to share your scenes with Emma, who's become this kind of titan in such a short space of time and yeah. there's so many people drawn to her. Can they're, you, they're, can they're you see the allure of, of the way she is as, as a performer? They are performers, excuse me. Um, can Absolutely. You, can you see why people, there's, people are so drawn yes. to her performances? Yes, oh, they're, they're captivating. And the, the sort of honesty and, and vulnerability that they're able to bring to this role is, is enthralling. You know, you, you fall in love with them immediately. Um, as, soon as, as soon as we get that first close-up of, of um, Emma as, as Connie on our wedding day, and, and they look so... I don't know how to put it. Picturesque. It's it's there's a there's a real there's a real beauty that they bring, a subtlety that they bring. Um so I think every role, uh, at least that I've seen them in so far. So um it was a it was a real pleasure to get to work with them. Mm. And I mean this is a, a book that's been adapted a few times over the over the years. Obviously Joe Lee is has been part of that bef, bef, yes. before and I was telling her that just just now. But yeah. it feels like it's it's quite timeless but also very timely and even now in 2022 there's a lot of things in here that 
people are still talking about and still trying to deal with. Do you think it's the right time to have another version that, that tries to bring it up to date, but also pay its respects to, to the, the text as it is? Absolutely, I do, yeah. I mean, it's the first time we've had a, a female director at the helm of the project to, to sort of put their vision on it. Um, and it, it gives so much agency to uh, Connie, to Emma as Connie, to, to tell their story, to tell uh, Connie's story uh, quite so succinctly, quite so pre precisely. You know, it's, it's Connie that we follow. Um, which I think is wonderful, and um, and I think it is very timely. I think coming off the back of you know two years of, of real isolation from each other, we need we need to see this this connection, you know, this emotional um, relationship that that we can we can sort of project onto our onto our own lives to an extent. Absolutely. Well, look, I wish you all the best with the film. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for your time. Absolute pleasure Cheers. talking to you. It's been Thank you so Thanks. much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!